Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cold Banker, Dan Harper Realtors. Well, once again, I'm back at the beautiful community of Vintage Oaks in New Braunfels, Texas. And the reason I'm out here is because right behind me is a gorgeous home getting built for one of my clients, being built by Grand Endeavor. This is the Cottonwood plan, and it's right about 3,100 square feet. Let's go check it out. I am super excited for my clients. This can be a big, gorgeous home being built by Grand Endeavor. This is on the natural gas side of the one acre spot of Vintage Oaks. And there's a reason I do so many videos out here. I love this community. You can tell there, this is a work in progress, but uh, yeah, this home is gonna be beautiful. And yeah, happy to do multiple videos of it during this build process because as a realtor, this is what I do. I want them to be able to show these videos to their friends and family because this is a really exciting process and this house will never look like this again. All right, let's head on inside. All right, yes, this is the very early stages. Framing has just started. You're gonna have a beautiful double door. Nice little place to go sit and sip on some coffee. Sun sets off that way, so it's not gonna be melting them, but this view, does not suck out of the front of the property. Very nice, and I can't wait to see. Um, Grand Endeavor does not do landscaping, so that is something my clients are gonna have to do, choose just how much they want to get landscape. Can you see some people? Well, they go a little nutso with the landscaping like the people next to them. And, well, they give them a little nuts too. All right, we're not here to talk about them. We're here to talk about this house. All right, right when you come in, you notice really wide entrance. These can be super tall ceilings. We're gonna have to use our imagination a little bit, but yeah, this is gonna be the office. With, once again, tall ceilings. View from the office through those windows. All right, but this can be a really cool living space and the view out the back, you can already see it. So you're gonna have the tall ceilings in here. You have a big old fireplace. Glad to see they've got the uh, power outlet for the sink, the couches. But man, this is gonna be a big island. This area here is gonna be all their kitchen. So uh, yeah, this looks to be the pantry right off the kitchen. So that's gonna be a big old pantry. Love these big giant windows. This is going to be pretty much their view from behind the sink. So you're going to be able to see out the, the wall of windows they're going to have right there and pretty much everything else going on inside the house. All right, you're going to have your dining room slash breakfast nook because yeah, this is plenty big for any size dining room table. But this big square window is super cool. All right. We'll end up at the master bedroom because that's behind us. Let me show you more of this back porch area. So they did opt for the big wall of sliding doors. Grand Endeavor offers them as a pretty decent price. But uh, wow, this is gonna be a tall ceiling. They have the extended covered patio. That is a uh, ranch back behind them, I think. Yeah, the Grand Endeavor uh, the same people who are building this house, they are in the beginning stages of doing their own one acre lot community back there called the Preserves. I'll be doing some more videos on that, but because it's one acre lot and it's like out in the distance, someday you might see another house. So definitely not going to anybody behind you because you're going to have a big yard, plenty of space to do a big pool if my clients so wanted to. And well, hell, they can do anything they want to in this backyard couple of gorgeous oak trees. Now that they cleared out the cedar underbrush underneath it, it's, uh, it's gonna be able to flourish a little more. All right, let's head back inside. Love how tall these ceilings are gonna be. <clears throat> All right. I'm thinking one of these are gonna be a bedroom, another one's gonna be an office. But yeah, these are gonna have tall ceilings. This 
would technically be classified as a bedroom because it can have that closet there. Eight foot doors. And this is gonna be your game room space, an alternative TV room, whatever they wanna do with it. A common space outside the main living area so they can have two different zones and another door going out to that big beautiful patio. Another bedroom with uh, big windows. Kind of a mirror image of that first one. Well, right there. Coming in here, you're gonna have a bathroom. Full bath. Uh, not sure if that's gonna be a... Yeah, I'm sure it's gotta be a tub combo there. Closet for the main space here. This would technically be considered another bedroom with its own private bath. With just a, oh, it looks like just a, a sink there. Oh, okay. And we have a, actually, I have no idea what that is uh, because it looks like it should be a closet because then you have this is your bathroom space there. So you're gonna have a sink coming in here, open up the door, here's your mud inset shower, toilet, and both of these rooms are gonna be able to share that one bath because here's the closet for this bedroom that we're currently in. So yeah, I don't know what that water feature is. So my client might have to enlighten me on that because that threw me a little bit. All right, let's head back to the main living space and I can show you where their master bedroom's gonna be and wait till you see the size of this closet. It's insane. They splurged for a little bit of an upgrade closet. So coming in, this is the three car garage with especially a, a large lip space so you can have all your vehicles and still be able to have your workbench shelves, whatever you wanna do, extra lighting in here. But yeah, these are big doors, lots of space there. So as you come in from the garage, you're gonna have, I believe this is gonna be a powder room because this, okay, they don't have all that stuff yet, but I believe this might be your laundry room right here. Sorry, sometimes this guessing game is hard to read the room when all you got is some post up. But this, I do know, is the master bedroom. This is huge. Tall ceilings in here. I got another one of those big giant square windows to be able to look out at these uh, oak trees and nature all around you. Like I said, no, the sun's setting over this way. So um, yeah, you're not gonna have the sun directly beaming in your window. But you got this cool corner door going into the bathroom. So yeah, this is a big bathroom. You're gonna have dual vanities along this wall. So yeah, I guess that water thing's for the vanity in the bathroom here. A big shower, what I call the little car wash shower setup. Nice bench, a high lighting. So yeah, this is gonna be a big shower, kind of cool. And this, you got your toilet right there, but this is their big giant closet. That's a good size one right there. So super cool size closet. It's a little bit oversized. I'm looking for a door here. No, yeah, that door leads out there. I was trying to think if there was another closet. But yeah, that's gotta be the laundry room. All right, back in the main living space. Looking forward to seeing how this house evolves and I'm happy to make these videos for my clients. All right, that's gonna wrap up the first new construction follow-up tour for this gorgeous home being built by Grand Endeavor and Vintage Oaks. And I hope my clients like this. 
And if you're considering moving to this area and want a real estate agent that does videos like this, feel free to reach out to me. My, the best way to do that is to click the link to my Zoom meeting uh, calendar app in the description box and I'm happy to schedule some time with you. As always, I hope you liked this video. If you did, hit that like button. And of course, I want you to share these videos with your friends and family. And yes, for those people who keep watching me all the time, thank you. All right, take care now. Bye.